Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. A small part of the pyramid in Medum remains, but even this part is taller than a 20-story building. The blocks in the walls of the pyramids, according to tradition, were leveled after construction. Processing of the inclined surface, which is carried out today by means of laser technology and special equipment, does not seem to have caused problems to ancient Egyptians. Only modern historians have problems when they are asked uncomfortable questions such as, can you imagine how you can work a block of stone the size of a multi-story house with a hammer and saw? Evidence of rock drilling technology has been found all over the world. Proof of the existence of this incredible technology, widespread in ancient times, can be found all over the world. Even in ancient times, builders could make perfectly round holes in stones and hard rocks. This impressive stone drilling technique demonstrates that our ancestors were familiar with the most sophisticated technology, it is impossible to create such large-sized holes without engineering skills and the necessary drilling equipment. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In 1638, the English antiquary, mathematician, and astronomer John Greaves visited Egypt and published the first ever study of the pyramids. He was also the first to sketch a cross-section of the Pyramid of Cheops. Greaves saw with his own eyes the descent from the entrance, the ascending corridor, and the galleries into the chamber of the king and queen. But is it possible to stand in a 46-meter corridor and not see the vaults above your head, which are about the height of a three-story house? I assume that at the time the pyramids were witnessed, there was no such fault. I cannot explain otherwise the through embedded cast iron staples fastening the stones of the vault, about which Egyptologists keep tactfully silent. Egyptians, of course, are advanced guys, but the pharaohs did not think of cast iron. But who dug inside the pyramid and why rebuilt the space is a question. The fireplaces in the old photographs from the 19th century. They don't look like they have wood burning in them, do they? It's impossible to heat a room that size with a fireplace. Only if you burn wood all the time. But everyone knows how much waste is produced by burning, don't they? Ash dust and shavings from the wood, soot. And around the wooden floor and a painting on the fireplace, which from the constant high temperature, will dry out and crack. We're near to store firewood in such a volume that it would be tossed. Only the round the clock carrying of firewood by servants, probably. The furnishings and finishes of the fireplace do not suggest such utilitarian use. It is interesting to understand the meaning of the word fireplace. It's a verb, come in. To enter, come in, come in, come in. A divine tool that easily cuts stone and iron. 
Judging from the texts, it was a divine tool for working stone the Shamir worm, Solomon Shamir. It could cut any stone, iron, and belong to the devil, Asmodeus, before Solomon, Solomon only later got hold of it. It was with this tool that Solomon was able to build his famous temple to one god. There are various interpretations of this worm, see above. But none of them give an idea of what it really was. In the end, it is some kind of tool, which received the highest assessment of its capabilities from the local population, but the natives were not able to describe exactly how it worked. Why are there no thousand-year-old trees left? The tree in the photo is several thousand years old. There are very few of them in the world. In the 19th century, they were actively cut down, but then, apparently, came to their senses and left a few pieces. The current forest is about 200 years old. Where are the trees that are 500, 700, 1000 years old or more? The horse-drawn streetcar, horse-drawn carriage. Proof that electricity was used by mankind much earlier than official history tells us. Think about it, how irrational is it to invest huge sums in the reorganization of the city, only to move the passenger flow was not on a flat road, but on the rails. After some cataclysm, the ability to support the transportation infrastructure with electricity disappeared, while the railroad tracks remained, and, logically, these tracks were used by traditional horse-drawn traction. This is the photo of Chicago, supposedly after the fire, looks more like the carpet bombing of Hamburg, Dresden, or Stalingrad. By the way, new series of sneakers have been launched by Balenciaga, and you can tell by this picture that they look like they have gone through Auschwitz and back, and they have a measly cost of $1,850. Not only is this congruent with their agenda you will own nothing and look like a hobo, but they're purposely testing to see if people are going to buy it just because some paid celebrities promoted it. I am being ironic here on purpose, because this is another picture of mad society that is marketing something absolutely degrading to humanity for a crazy amount of price. This is not about fashion or being trendy, this is literally an IQ test for the humanity. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.